guys, what's up? This is Nine Live Software, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make the joypad. This is gonna be the part three of the final tutorial. And so, if you have not seen part one or part two, I highly recommend it. It's gonna be in the description, okay? So, I just scrolled down to the void viewed load and uncommented it. And after the super viewed load, I'm gonna enter and do joypad space equal space cg rec make and then for here um, for the x um, I'm going to interface builder and then I'm going to look at my attributes so it's going to be 20 by 360 so for x it's going to be 20 y is 360 the width is 100 height is 100 and then do semicolon enter and then joypad center dot x is equal to 20 joypad center dot y sorry joypad center y is equal to 360 uh, joypad max radius is equal to 50 and that's um, and also sorry and also do game timer space equal space ns timer and then tar start typing schedule and then uh, press uh, the right key. For um, interval, you can do 1.0 slash 60.0. Target is self. Uh, selector is at selector. And um, for this one, I'm going to use a uh, main game loop. User info is nil and repeat is yes. Brackets, semicolon. Now I'm just going to scroll up until um, I see the touch is ended and then after the last color bracket enter twice and do dash void main game loop. Okay, I'm pretty sure I did that right. Uh, yeah. Okay, and now inside here I'm going to do cg point space new location space equal space cg point make and then for this one do user dot center dot x space minus distance divided by 50 and then times cosine of f and then touch angle and then for the y it's going to be uh, user dot center dot y space minus distance and divided by 50 and then multiply this by sine of f and then touch angle and then do semicolon and then lastly you're gonna do user dot center space equal space new location semicolon and so that is it so I'm just gonna connect everything in interface builder I have it right here. I'm just going to change this to uh, my joypad cap that I made earlier. And make sure everything is centered. I use the Apple logo as a user. And there we go. And see if everything is connected. And yes, it is. So I'm just going to do build and run. Okay, it succeeded, no errors or warnings, so that's an, a good sign. And so here's a joypad cap, and it's going to move it around. And as you can see, it also moves. Oh, I just uh, put it wrong, but as you can see, it actually does move. I just uh, put the joypad cap in the wrong place, so that's why. But here you go. If I move it up, it goes up, goes down, goes down. So... Oh. That's how you make a nice joypad using Objective-C for iPhone SDK. Thank you guys for watching, and please subscribe. See ya.